Hey everybody, welcome back. I guess if you've uh, clicked on this, you're probably curious from the title as to what I'm talking about where it comes to this unit right here. Quick little uh, history on what happened here. I brought it in, my Helix uh, 7, to get the power button fixed on it. And uh, since I've got it back, now I've got a different boat. But the problem is, I can't get it past the home screen when I go and power it up. And let me show you this, because maybe you have this problem, maybe you don't. So anyways, I'll power it up. As you see, it comes on, okay? So, as soon as this screen prompts you to hit the menu button, which it will in just one second here, I will hit the menu button as it's going through its processes. Okay, menu for startup options. Here we got our startup options, we got normal simulator. Press that. I want to go into normal. Normal. So then we're going to hit exit. And it should start up. Right? Here we are. Thinking it's going to start up. What's going to happen now? And there's the menu thing again. So I hit it again. I want to go back into normal. Let's hit exit. So should it work now? And there we are. Menu. Startup options. It'll run in simulator or system status, but I cannot, for the life of me, get it to go into normal mode. It just keeps looping back to this page. I'm gonna try something, because I went and seen Alex out at uh, Extreme Marine. We, got, we tried the unit there and it worked. So I'm having to think it might be something to do with the power on this boat. It's an 05. The wiring, I think, might be a bit sketch. So I'm going to have to check that out. So what I'm going to do is a test. But I'm going to take this all apart, and then I'm going to use the power cord and attach it to a battery on a short run just to see if this thing powers up no problem because I think that might be the problem. So we'll give it a try. Okay, guys, I hate that I got to do this, but I got I to gotta tear this back open again. I don't think I have any other option but to check the wiring for the power. Let us find the wire, which I believe it is that one there. Now I got this all set up, but something tells me it is the wire going back to the battery. If that's the case, we'll find out soon enough. Let's have a look here. This is the original cable. You can see the wires on this, and here's the wires running from the other unit. I'm having a feeling it might be this, so I'm going to cut these off, and I'm going to strip these, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Alright, I hate doing stuff like this, but only because I had everything all set up, and I thought it was good to go. But, obviously, I think we have a problem. I'm going to strip these wires just to check them. I will do a direct connect, you know, just get a test route. I don't have one. I have to borrow it. But I do have, friends, my handy dandy ice fishing lithium box here. Love this thing. I use it all the time. I'm just going to connect it direct to here. And then we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that uh, just putting it on the post should be enough to uh, tell me if that's what the problem is. So I'll just put them in here. And uh, I know the battery's good here. The, these lithium uh, batteries, they hold their charge pretty good. This box has been awesome. It was easy to put together too. I want to thank my, my buddy uh, Chris. Uh, he's helped me out with a lot of this stuff. Pretty good at it. <clears throat> But let's, uh, let's power this up. What do we got? It says 13.3 on the screen there. So now we got power. So let's, let's see what this thing will do. Oh, you know what? Guess what, guys? I hope if I plug the stupid thing in. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. I feel like a total ass. Ah. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Powered up. Here we go. 
Moment of truth here, friends. Moment of truth. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can get past that menu screen this time. If that's the case, then I have to run new wire. System. There we go, friends. All right. Uh, language, yeah, English looks good. Yep, there we are. Okay, I don't have a transducer hooked up to it or anything, but uh, that's the problem. That is the problem right there. Let's power that down. Okay, so the issue, by the looks of it, is a, a line issue. And as I showed you here with, with these wires, that is a smaller gauge than what's on the one for the fish finder. So looks like I got to run some new wire. This is not acceptable. Power for the fish finder wires are a heavier gauge than the one that was running up to the front. So this one here is the issue. And that is why it wouldn't go past the home screen selection. It just wasn't getting the power. It never said anything about uh, about voltage because usually you'll get a warning on the screen that'll tell you low voltage so that's an issue so here I thought I was ready to go uh, the last boat I ran uh, wire and hooked it up to my lithium battery I had a 50 amp hour lithium battery I had uh, both electronics hooked up to my helix 5 at the helm works this one does not it seems to take up a little more juice and it's just not getting it from the battery now we have to re like rerun wire to get more power to the head unit here because it just, that's not good enough. So this boat's a 2005. Uh, I'm sure at the time what units they had on here worked fine with this kind of stuff. But uh, in this day and age, uh, these, uh, these units are a lot more power demanding. So could be a rewire job in the off season. But for now, I'm going to see about just getting something... Uh, set up for this unit and uh, go from there. Okay, friends, so if you ever run into the problem where you're having an issue with that unit powering up, maybe low voltage, maybe you can't get past the home screen, hook up something like this. Like I said, I, this is my lithium ice fishing uh, power box that I use for my uh, Garmin unit. This thing works great. It's got plenty of power to boot. And I figure if it's going to work, it's going to work on that unit. And sure enough, it did. So you got to test things sometimes. And that's all I could think of at the time because I don't have a tester. So that was my tester. But now that I've troubleshot the, the problem, because I couldn't find nothing on the Internet searching for this thing. Gets stuck on the home screen and just keeps looping, keeps looping, keeps looping. Just didn't have the power to get it over that, uh, get it over that hump, I guess. So. I hope uh, that was really helpful to you because it was to me. And uh, yeah, once I get this fixed up and that's going to be a weekend job, I can get this damn thing out on the water because I've been itching to do it. Anyways, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Tie lines.